vertical, rugged cliffs, turquoise blue waters, arched coconut palms, and empty white sand beaches. What sounds like a secret paradise is reality in the region Dofar, the least visited part of Oman. We discovered the best places, drove to the highest mountains of the state and along one of the most beautiful coastlines on earth. Today we are going to our first Omani mountain, which is very close to here and we're going to explore the area a little bit and go along the coast. I feel like doing this all over again, starting here from Zalala again, but this time we are not heading into the desert, but to the mountains of the state here and the state here is called Dofar. Zalala is the capital of the Dofa governorate, the southernmost region in the country, nestled between Yemen, the Rub al Khali Desert and the Arabian Sea. Besides of a few private bus connections that cover the most common routes like the direct way to the city Muscat, there is no real public transportation in the state and the only way to move around is by car or cab, even within the city of Zalala. Wow, these city roads of Salala are really so orderly with all these palm trees. We will still stay about 15 or 20 minutes here on the main road and then already turn off to the mountains. Isn't that crazy? Yesterday the desert, today the mountains and the coast. Dofar is the furthest south and remotest province in Oman which is why Dofa tends to be overlooked by most travelers who prefer to stick to the northern destinations around Muscat instead. But it is very popular amongst Omani tourists because Dofa has such a unique landscape. Let's turn off to the mountains and even though we are only about 30 kilometers from Zalala, here the real countryside roads will start. Wow, this road here is very steep. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it is really unusual steep, very funny. I don't think we have such steep roads somewhere in the Alps in Europe or so. From the vast desert to white sand beaches and to high mountains, Dofa has some of the most diverse nature of Oman. And it is the only state on the whole Arabian Peninsula that is influenced by a monsoon season. Very windy! We are getting closer to our first destination to the mountains of Jebel Samhan. I hope you pronounce it like that. With 1,300 meters, Jebel Samhan is one of the highest places in Dofar. But it is not one peaking mountain, but a mountain range that has a high plateau that you can explore on a gravel road.
so let's see how far we get. I actually saw on the maps that there are supposed to be some viewpoints on some parts of this gravel road here. So let's see. What's that? There's a sign that says Jabal Samhan Nature Reserve. Now I just went by the sign, but I feel like it said that the road is maybe forbidden. Uh, should I pretend that I didn't see it or just go back and check it out one more time? Oh, I think I go back. Don't want to ride here illegally. So we just wanted to continue this gravel road, but it turned out that you need a permit to enter this nature reserve. So we unfortunately have to turn around. I think actually you can go there because Google says there are a few viewpoints if you come with a guided tourist tour. But we just, I just don't want to go anywhere where I'm not allowed to go with vehicles and destroy nature. So this was a nice gravel road. The Jebel Samhan Nature Reserve has an area of 4,500 square kilometers or 1,700 square miles and has no permanent population. And in the end, I was indeed happy that we didn't continue our ride because it is one of the last refugees for wild Arabian leopards. Data suggests that around 20 Arabian leopards are left in the reserve. And I really would not have liked to disturb these rare animals with my motorcycle noise. Back here in the beginning of the gravel road and even though we were on top of this mountain plateau now the whole time we didn't enjoy the views yet, but I think that is about to come now. So we rode to the top of this absolutely stunning mountain pass and there is basically no other people besides us. So you have all the roads and basically all the area completely to yourself. And it's absolutely stunning but very windy. Jebel Samhan is the highest series of three that forms the Dofa Mountains. And at this viewpoint, you can experience the mountains nearly dropping down vertically 1,300 meters. And this offers views to the town Mirbad at the ocean and the whole valley to the sea. It's super windy, but look at this view behind me. I'm standing so close to the edge, it's actually a bit scary because it drops down here like crazy. Isn't that cool? Looking at the dry riverbeds in the valley can give you an outlook on where and how much water covers the region of Dofa during the monsoon season. From June to August the tropical monsoon season starts, during which its landscapes are covered with mist and fairy meadows and changes from brown to completely green. Karif is what the locals call their monsoon season. Actually, Karif literally means monsoon in Arabic. The monsoon is the reason why Dofa is filled with papaya, mango and banana plantations all year round. From the mountains of Dofa we now head to the coast of Dofa and we will see where we end up today. Actually we might camp again.
Hello! Look, these camels, they're not shy at all. Very cute. In Oman, there is a special law for camels. If you get into a road accident with a camel during the day, it is the fault of the driver of the vehicle. If you get into an accident with a camel at night, it is the fault of the camel owner. Now we're coming to a very special place. We stop here. This is the place of no gravity. Because Oman is so magical, there is a point here that is the point of no gravity because there are two road sites here and you can go up this mountain in neutral. We will try that now and see if it works. Because both directions pretty much go upwards from here, we are in the middle. And we have to try now which is the point of no gravity. I really found the point of no gravity that made me roll backwards, up the hill. Did I already mention that Oman is pretty magical? In reality, the point of no gravity is just an optical illusion though. You think that the road goes upwards, even though it doesn't. We're going to the coast now and I can't wait. I actually don't know how this ride will be at all. But the only thing that I know so far is that it will be pretty remote because there is no hotels on any western booking platforms, I think for the next 600 kilometers or so. But we will see, we have a tent, so all good and we are safe. So now we have a little lunch break with all of Omani delicacies like Kit Kat or potato chips. When we started our ride through the mountainous backlands of the coast over its beautiful plateaus, I didn't know yet what an amazing place was just waiting in front of us. I mean, you only see the sea every now and then, but it's absolutely stunning with these rugged mountains and cliffs here. And it was about to get even more stunning. All of a sudden, the rocks opened up and we found ourselves on a road right next to the water.
I'm actually always a bit careful with superlatives like the most beautiful but I have really ridden a lot of ocean drives in the USA the highway one or in Australia the great ocean road and to be honest and just realistic I don't know if I have ever ridden an ocean road as beautiful and as stunning and as remote as this here I can't get it into my mind how crazy beautiful this is. It was crazy beautiful. But it was as well crazy windy. And the sun slowly started to disappear. Wow, really, these views, uh, no words for this, but I think the sun is gone soon. And I don't know if we can camp here, to be honest, it is really, really super windy. But we will try to reach the next town and see if we can find anything there, food, accommodation, or maybe a spot to camp where it's not too windy. So we got a little problem now. The sun is setting behind a mountain right at this moment. And we didn't reach at all where we wanted to be today. Um, maybe too many stops here at the beautiful coast. So we're staying now here in this town. There is a little hotel. And yeah, it's even not enough time to set the tent anymore because the sun will be gone. We had it in the desert and then literally two minutes later it was pitch black dark. So we found this hotel now that is supposed to be somewhere here in this little town. And that's where we go. At the petrol station we were told that there are some rooms for rent in town, but couldn't figure out where it is. But then, of course, the hospital locals immediately spotted our misery, came over and guided us to the place. At the end of the day, we got a huge room with a shower and parking right in front of the door. Our guides to the hotel had recommended us the best restaurant in town. And to spoil ourselves after this long day of riding, we decided to spare no expenses and visit the famous place, Yusuf, at the gas station. And guys, no joking around when it comes to food. After we had found the best egg sandwich of Oman in Uber, close to the Rub al Khali desert, Yusuf served us the best grilled chicken of the country. Period. Do you guys want to continue the ride along the coast of Oman with me? If you are ready to be a part of the Got to Grow travel crew, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment. The next episode will come with more stunning ocean views and with some secret caves. See you next Thursday.